Hi, I'm Lisa with Lisa Boone Designs. We're going to be making over a set of dressers. They belonged to my clients. She had them for her sons, and now we're making it over for her grandson. This one had a little bit more wear and tear than the tall chest, but nothing that was impossible or crazy. They were actually in great condition considering that they were 50 years old. So I take my carbide scraper and I start with that because it just helps minimize the sanding especially when you have veneer on top. I'm using my orbital sander to get the rest of it and then I change discs to a finer grit to get the rest of it and that just helps to you to get a nice smooth top. The wood was in really great condition and I was looking forward to faux staining it. I take my other orbital sander, it just helps to do the sides and it came out really great. I did do a scuff sanding on the side and then on to the tall one to do the same exact thing. This one had a chip right there. So this is my little hack. I did this actually in my house with the crown molding. I take Iron Orchid Designs air dry clay with type bond glue and I just create the a mold on the actual piece. Because it was small enough, it was just easy to do it that way. Then I clean it with vinegar, soap, and water. This, by soap I mean Blue Dawn and I just deglossed the front side because I didn't scuff sand it. It was really slick. DIY paint will go over slick surfaces but sometimes I do that. So here we go to stain the top. We're going to be using Dark and Decrepit. That is my preferred stain. I always like to wet it down very well. I just feel like I have a little bit more control. I'd rather do a couple coats than get it too, too dark. And so I'm applying it with my blue sponge applicator and it just makes it go really, really easily. And I did wet down my dark and decrepit in my bowl before as well. And I love the way it looks. So this gives me the idea. Do I want to keep it here or do I want to make it darker? I always wait until it dries to decide. And next we're going to start painting the piece. She wanted a gray, so I chose a medium toned gray, a neutral gray, letter press gray. I'm using my S30 Klingon brush. I always wet it beforehand and then start painting. Your first coat on a surface like this is going to be a bit scratchy and that's okay. Don't go for perfection. Just get the paint on there and don't over brush it because you can pull up the paint. It's better to do a light coat. And so here's what it looks like after the first coat and you can see that it starts drying very quickly and the color starts dulling down a little bit. So now I want to go ahead and add my second coat for the top and see how beautiful it turns out. You can actually get it really dark like a dark walnut. It's always a good idea to sand down your top coat. You could have dust particles but here I used a lot of water and it just opens up those fibers and I want to get a smooth top coat. So I want to go ahead and sand it down. You can use a fine grit sand, sanding disc or sanding sponge. I'm using packing paper. You could also use a paper bag. It, you wouldn't believe the difference that it makes. It really does. It makes it nice and smooth. I didn't rinse out my brush. So it got hard. That's the beauty of DIY paint. I was able to just quickly get it back and you could also apply some water to it. Your second coat is going to make it look beautiful. I don't know why my cats like to play in my furniture. The dogs, the cats, it's just never ending. Busted, busted girl. <laughs> it was just nonstop for days. They were just playing all over. 
So now it's time to sand down the Iron Orchid Design air dry clay. Yes, you can sand it. It's this beautiful thing about it once it's dried. And now I go ahead and I paint the tall chest one coat and it also turned out so beautiful. Now it's time to top coat. I'm going to be using DIY paint, clear wax, and big top. I'm using the Waxine wax brush. All of these products can be found on my website. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? <laughs> she cracks me up. She was just making sure I was doing a good job. So you want to make sure that you don't get that. Those little concentrated pieces of wax like wax boogers <laughs> like you want to make sure that you get that off wipe it off because that will look nasty once it's dried you can wait an hour or days to do your second coat and so I wanted to add some black wax to add some just grunge and make the details pop for this piece. Then I went ahead and I did a top coat of Big Top. I actually did two coats of Big Top. And then I also did two coats of wax on that top. But this is what it looks like. This is the wax freak out factor. Don't keep waxing. Just leave it alone. Let it dry all the way. I wanted to add some more details on the tops. So I added some black wax to grunge it up and add some character. And that really made it pop. Then after your wax is totally dry, buff it. For the hardware, there was so much that so we didn't want to replace it didn't want it gold she wanted it black so instead of using black paint I went ahead and I used posh chalk metallic paste I did two coats of it the second coat I watered it down a little bit and they turned out so beautiful I'm so glad I tried that that was a great thing to do this piece had a mirror I forgot all about it it was still in my trailer so I had to clean it really well and then also paint it with letterpress gray here's a hack for mirrors normally I actually don't do it this way I just use a scraper and scrape it off but I'm gonna show you what I did get it nice and dry and then put decking cards because they're waxed and so you can paint and wax and after you're done, remove them. Such an easy little hack. You can pick up cards at a thrift store or the dollar store and save them for painting. Let's look back to what the pieces looked like before. I just love this transformation. It was such a simple project. It's something that anybody can do, but the transformation is really just wow. Even though it was so simple, simple products, DIY paint, clear wax, black wax, dark and decrepit, big top, impost chalk for the hardware. You could also paint the hardware. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this transformation. I hope that it inspired you. I hope that if you've never painted furniture, you would give it a try. This is definitely something that anybody can do. These products are exceptional artisan type products that make it what it is. It makes it wow. They're easy to use and they're fun. And I would love to know if you've never painted furniture, if you have any questions about the products that I used or anything, let me know in the comments below. I have a few more pieces that I'm gonna be doing for this client, so I'm really excited about that. Go ahead and subscribe so that you'll be notified the next time that I upload a video. And here are my clients. Here is my client with her grandson. We're able to take this 
furniture that was her son's and jazz it up for a new generation. How awesome is that? I hope you have an incredibly blessed day. Thank you so much again. Ciao.